Lawrence Welk, Champagne Music, and the High Life Review. Each week from a different community, as often as we can, we bring you news of life in our country. High Life in America, reviewed by Lawrence Welk. Miller. High Life. Miller. High Life. The blend of good taste and cheer. High Life. Miller. High Life. Miller. High Life. The champagne of bottle beer. Good evening, friends. Well, we're still in Hollywood, the almost mythical city of romance and adventure, where people often live the exciting parts they play. Our special guest tonight is Mr. Max Sennett, Dean of Movie Comedy. Now here to greet you is your host and goodwill ambassador, Lawrence Welk. Thank you, John. Uh, Tomorrow is the last day of summer, and I would like to thank California for the beautiful weather we've had. Uh, You mean like the day it hit 103 two Wednesdays ago? Uh, Well, I think that was the exception that proves the rule. You're right, of course, Lawrence. And even when it did hit 103, the nights were wonderful for sleeping. California has been swell. But when we leave here, we'll be lured on by another siren call. Play it for us, Lawrence. The Lullaby of Broadway. Review executes a quick change of pace as Lawrence Welk slows his champagne music to lovely ballad tempo. Garth Andrews and the trio sing a song that's close to the top of the current popularity polls. You're breaking my heart.
You're breaking my heart Cause you're leaving You've fallen for somebody new It isn't too easy believing You leave after all we've been through It's breaking my heart to remember The dreams we depended upon Leaving a slow dying ember. I wish you my love when you're gone. I wish you joy, though teardrops burn. But if someday you should want to return, please hurry back and we'll make a new start. But until then you're breaking my heart. You know, transportation is a major problem here in Los Angeles, and a person without a car might just as well stay home. So I've been wondering how Dick Hill's been getting around. He must have a girl here. He's had one every other place we've played. How about it, Dick? Oh, I've got the girl, all right. And the car? No, no car. And like you say, it's tough. But when a man's in love, love will find a way. Oh, yeah. I read that in a book. Well, uh, uh, how do you get around? If you must know, I'll tell you what I tell my girl. Listen. <laughs> I take the third street bus and the cross-town trolley transfer twice. And then, by golly, I walk six blocks before I get to your house. And then I climb the stair, give the bell a jingle, see you there. I'm all a tingle, I know it won't be long before we kiss. I can't afford a taxi, and I haven't got a car, but I would ride a hobby horse just to get to where you are. Why don't we take that trip on the cross town trolley, get that ring, and in this folly, then we could settle down to Bill and Coon. No more crosstown trolley rides to get to you. The champagne music of Lawrence Well, coming to you from Hollywood. We're on a round-trip tour of the country to tell you about High Life in America, reviewed by Lawrence Well. Depending on your point of view, the word quality can have a lot of meanings. But let me tell you, friends, when you think of quality and Miller High Life, that word stands for just one thing. Rich, full-bodied, uniformly delicious flavor. Since 1855, this clear, sparkling beer has been made by skilled craftsmen 
brewing experts whose knowledge has been passed down from one generation to the next. Today, as always, only the finest ingredients, the best time-tested processes, are used in brewing Miller High Life. It's a beer you can truly call the national champion of quality. And now, a toast to you with the champagne of bottle beer, Miller High Life. Miller High Life is brewed and bottled only by the Miller Brewing Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. (laughs) When early spring comes to California, a white blanket descends on the countryside and a heavy fragrance fills the air. It's Orange Blossom time. Here's a good-natured tribute to this perfumed season sung by Bob Tex Cromer and the High Life Trio. California Orange Blossoms. I'm a native of a place where flowers always bloom And the fragrant scenery breathes a sweet perfume Where the mountains touch the shore, the blue Pacific flows It's there that everybody knows California orange blossom with their sun kissed eyes of blue. If you long to win her, let me warn you. My California orange blossom, pretty orange blossom, told me that she loved me too. It's so peaceful when you stray these heavy laden trees. Listen to the songs that come with every breeze. But of all the lovely charms the state of mind can boast, there's one that's known from coast to coast. My California orange blossom, she's got sunbeams in her hair. If you long to win her, let me warn you. My California orange blossom, pretty orange blossom, said my love she'd always share. If you're on the western trail, just riding to and fro, ramble out our way and get that glad hello. After you've been shown my state, you'll say it can't be beat, especially after you will meet. California orange blossom With the smile the birdies sing If you long to win her Let me warn ya My California orange blossom Pretty orange blossom Said for me to buy the ring A few weeks ago, the big feature story in Life magazine was entitled, Comedy's Greatest Era. It was written about that amazing man who brought to the screen perhaps the greatest single array of new talent the movies have ever known, from Charlie Chaplin to Bing Crosby. Who could it be but Max Sennett himself? (laughs) Mr. Sennett, I don't know where to begin a brief interview like this. Just a couple of minutes with a man I'd like to sit down and talk to for hours. I think this item might be worth telling. Bing Crosby's takeoff on his successful flight to fame and fortune. Oh, boy, and how? Uh, Where did you first meet Bing? It was at the Coconut Grove in Los Angeles where I first saw Bing. Always on the lookout for new talent, I was impressed. So I decided to get him. And uh, what did your staff say about bringing a crooner into Max Senate comedies? (laughs) They gave me the horse laugh. They ridiculed the idea. However, I didn't let this faze me. I said, I don't care if he croons, dances, or stands on his head, as long as he entertains. Entertainment, that's what we're selling. So as Bing Crosby and his crooning entertains, I'm going to try and get him. So uh, you made a deal with him? I negotiated a deal and engaged Bing. And uh, how did Bing make out, Mr. Sennett? Well, we made a number of pictures with Bing, and he turned out to be a phenomenal success in the Max Sennett comedy. Well, uh, how did Bing happen to leave you, Mr. Sennett? Well, when his series was finished, I tried to renew my contract with him. There and then I found out I had terrific competition. I imagine you would. The other studios, which had previously turned him down, were now bidding for his services. In fact, one studio told his agent that regardless of what Sennett offers Crosby, we will double it. So there was nothing for me to do but withdraw. 
Well, that's real competition. Uh, then, then what happened after you lost Bing? Well, to fill his niche, I scouted around and found another comedian who was having difficulty trying to get a foothold in pictures. <laughs> this man's name was W.C. Field. Well, I understand, Mr. Senate, you're releasing a new picture that includes all of your old stars. Yes, John, we are. Entitled Down Memory Lane, where you will see Bing Crosby in a couple of his best shorts. Also... W.C. Fields on what I think was the funniest picture he ever made, entitled The Dentist. Oh, yes, I remember that. Also, there are the Keystone Cops Cavorting, Mabel Norman and it excerpts from Malia, one of her best pictures, Gloria Swanson, Phyllis Haver, Ben Turpin, Charlie Murray, Franklin Vanborn, and many others. Well, I'm sure, Mr. Senate, everyone will want to see Down Memory Lane. Thanks Thank a lot, Mr. Max Senate. Thank you, John. Good night, folks. Now Roy Walden takes Mr. Sennett's place at the microphone for some plain and fancy whistling to the tune of Peg of My Heart. Honored by the presence of another guest tonight, this guest is a young lady, and this young lady is a singer. And this singer is one of the best there is. Ladies and gentlemen, lovely Anita Ellis. <laughs> Say, Anita, since last year when you were the singing star of the Red Skelton Show, I've lost track of you. Should I be ashamed of myself? Oh, no, John, not for a minute. I disappeared. I went to Europe. To Europe? Mm -hmm. well, why? Just a vacation, just for a change. And when I came back, I found that I had changed. Uh, may I say that the change, whatever it is, is very becoming. Ah, oh, you're very nice. But London and Paris seem to have made a serious young woman out of me. The change is that now I want to do more than sing. I want to act, I want to do drama, I want to dance. And I'm studying, John, studying all the time, and I've never been so excited. Say, you've got me <laughs> excited, too. But I'm certainly glad you haven't ruled out singing altogether and that you're going to sing for us right now. Be ready? Uh-huh. Anita Ellis sings September Song. <laughs> The days grow short 
Thanks a lot, Anita, and all the luck in the world with your new career, but please don't ever give up singing. As the High Life Review visits city after city on this tour across the nation, we try to tell you about High Life in America, reviewed by Lawrence Welk. You know, friends, after a busy day, it's a pleasure to relax before dinner with a tall, cool glass of delicious Miller High Life. This splendid beer has a zestful, refreshing flavor all its own, a flavor that makes good food taste even better. The reason for this is simple. The superb flavor of Miller High Life stems from real quality brewing. Sun-ripened grains, choice hops, and other selected ingredients are carefully brewed and aged the thorough, old-fashioned way to give you a full quota of enjoyment in every glass you drink. Yes, it's a toast to you with the champagne of bottled beer, Miller High Life. Miller High Life is brewed and bottled only by the Miller Brewing Company in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Everyone has heard the famous Rustic Dance, a classic country dance for pleasant peasant folk. And here are Lawrence Welk and the orchestra to give you their rural free delivery version, Rustic Dance. Thank you. 
Medley time on the High Life Review, a group of wonderful old songs played by Lawrence Welk, his accordion, and his orchestra in their famous champagne style. Tonight you've heard the Lawrence Wells High Life Review in the heart of Hollywood from where we toast all of America. We'll be back here next week to tell you more of High Life in America, reviewed by Lawrence Wells. Miller. High Life. Miller. High Life. The blend of good taste and cheer. High Life. Miller. Miller. High life. The champagne of bottled beer. After several weeks here in Hollywood, we travel once again from California to New York to tell America about Americans.